Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor here. One of the most popular questions that I get asked is what is melatonin? Let's be clear, melatonin is a hormone. In fact, it's actually known as the vampire hormone because it only comes out when it's dark. Melatonin is not an herb or a supplement, but it is the key that starts the engine for sleep. Its production is the first thing that your brain does in response to the lowering of your core body temperature. Melatonin production signals a host of other hormones as well as neurotransmitters to begin the process of sleep. But a lot of people like to know, how can melatonin improve my sleep? So I recommend four different kinds of populations take melatonin. The first is for seniors. As we age, our melatonin production begins to decline, usually around age 55 to 60. So for many of my people in that age range who report a decline in their sleep quality, I like to recommend a low dose of melatonin. The next group is those suffering from jet lag. When your body crosses multiple time zones, your brain kind of needs to catch up from a circadian rhythm perspective. Melatonin at the right dose and time can readjust that internal body clock to the time in which you're landing, and that makes it much easier to fall asleep. The third group, shift workers. When people are working a particular shift, they often sleep when their body actually wants to be awake. This can be a huge problem for your circadian rhythm and have an effect on your overall health, mood, even work performance. Many times, people can be placed on a particular schedule and use melatonin if they're having to sleep during the daytime. Finally, the group I like to recommend taking melatonin is those with delayed sleep-wake phase disorder. These are people whose body clocks are naturally extreme night owls. This does not work well with their social life or their work life. So similar to people who have jet lag, we use melatonin to help shift the time when they get sleepy to much earlier in the evening. Now, what happens if somebody is pregnant? Is melatonin an appropriate thing to take? As a general guideline, I would not recommend melatonin to anyone who is pregnant or nursing. There are no current studies that show it's safe for women in these situations. What about kids and melatonin? Interestingly, kids make three to four times the amount of melatonin that they actually need. So in most cases, it would be completely inappropriate to use melatonin in children. However, there is one group of children in which melatonin has shown great promise. Those are kids on the autism spectrum. At higher dosages, it appears to be quite effective with that population of children. Speaking of dosages, what's the right dose? Be fair, if you walk into the drugstore to grab a bottle of melatonin, you're gonna see a variety of dosages. You might see it in three milligrams, five milligrams, even 10 milligrams. Turns out this is just flat out wrong. The appropriate dose of melatonin for it to reach plasma concentration levels for sleep is approximately a half a milligram. Yep, a half a milligram. Many people overdose on melatonin without realizing it. One of the first symptoms is extreme vivid dreams or nightmares. Therefore, I always ask my patients to start at a half and take it at a specific time and then see how well it works. For seniors, I never go over half a milligram, but for normal adults, the maximum is about 1.5 milligrams per dose. Unfortunately, it's sold in an overdosage format in most places here in the US, so people really need to be careful. In fact, many people don't know that melatonin changes the effectiveness of birth control, antidepressants, even your hypertension medication. So if you're on any of these medications, it's important to talk with your doctor if you have any interest in using melatonin in the future. So when you're thinking about buying melatonin, what should you do? Personally, when I use melatonin, I prefer it in a liquid form, and if I can, I find it plant-based. In the pill form, you have to take it almost 90 minutes before lights out, with the liquid, if you use it sublingually, which is underneath your tongue, you can actually take it within 30 minutes of lights out. If you're having trouble sleeping, melatonin is one solution, but the deeper issue could be your chronotype. So check out this video on how to align your sleep schedule with your chronotype. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.